Today is all about China's most shocking super engineering marvels. And with that said, in this video, we are going to present to you the most unbelievable and latest shocking super engineering mega projects constructed and being built in China. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to stay updated with our latest contents. In this video, we are going to present to you the most unbelievable and latest shocking super engineering mega projects constructed and being built in China. And without further ado, here we go with our video. Number 1 is First Steel Beam Section Installed for China's First Cross Cable State Bridge. The first section of steel box girders was erected for China's first cross-cable state bridge, Yangtze River Bridge at Bian Yuzhou, according to builders. The project resumed operation and added 500 more workers in order to finish on schedule. Upon completion, it will serve as transportation infrastructure for the economic zone along the river and promote the common development of the Hubei Jiangxi region. Number two is second phase of North South Highway completed in Kyrgyzstan. Two flyover bridges with a length of 1,076 and 396 meters respectively, as well as Aral Kazarman Road with length of 99 kilometers, were built in the south of Kyrgyzstan with the support of China. These facilities are part of a highway connecting the north and the south of the country. A ceremony was held to mark the completion of the second phase of the North-South Highway project. The total length of the North-South Highway project is 433 kilometers. The second phase of the project with a length of 99 kilometers was implemented by the China Road and Bridge Company. Number 3 is Major Cross Sea Bridge Completes Joining Stage in Fujian. The last parts of the Meizhou Bay Cross Sea Bridge in East China was connected after three years of construction. The Meizhou Bay Cross Sea Bridge in China's Putian City, Fujian Province has a total length of 14.7 km with 10.8 km stretching across sea. Engineers managed the building of the connected section, filling it over with concrete. The bridge girder erection machine independently developed in China, Kunlun, participated in the construction of the bridge. The 1,000-ton machine is the biggest one in the world. It transported the girders, which are 40.6 meters and over 1,000 tons, and laid them down in a precise manner. The highly efficient machine can also move autonomously in the tunnel, adjusting its route through infrared scanning. Number 4 is Chinese Army Builds Bridge Across Yangtze River An engineering unit of China's People's Liberation Army recently achieved an extraordinary feat by building a pontoon bridge across the Yangtze River, the third longest river in the world in less than half an hour. They are putting together the third part of the bridge. The soldiers move fast and swiftly.
Number five is the Anshin Bridge improves traffic in southwest China's Yunnan. Valued at about 104 million yuan, the Lianxin Bridge was a foundation to help residents of Lisu, Nu, and Dulong escape poverty. The name Lianxin means connecting people's heart together. The completion of the bridge has provided convenience for the locals and promoted the development of the local economy. Number 6 is Expressway brings prosperity to remote villages in North China. Dawa village in North China's Hebei is located deep in the Taihang Mountain. It was included in the list of Chinese traditional villages in 2016. In 2018, an expressway was opened promoting local development of tourism, infrastructure, while preserving ecological environment. Many young villagers chose to work elsewhere. After the opening of Taihang Mountain Expressway, more and more tourists has been coming to the village. Number 7 is Northeast China Ports handle over 4,000 China Euro Fry trains. Northeast China's ports of Manjuli and Suifenhe on the China-Russia border have seen over 4,000 China-Europe freight train trips. The two ports had handled 4,062 China-Europe freight trips with more than 388,000 TEUs of goods, up 28.1% and 35% year-on-year respectively. Now. The Freight Logistics Office is operating every day with three fully loaded cranes. The volume has increased from loading one train in several days to loading four trains each day, with 520 TEUs, which is a four-fold increase. Over 50 China Euro Freight train routes pass through the two ports, linking more than 10 countries with 60 Chinese cities including Guangzhou, Changsha, and Tianjin, among others. And that concludes this video for today. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.